Hello, welcome to part 2 of introduction to the Nexus dashboard fabric controller and the key highlights. This is Karishma Gupta, technical marketing engineer, Cisco. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the benefits of uh, NDFC 12.x and what's new. Again, this is part 2 of the series on NDFC. Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller, formerly known as the Data Center Network Manager, that's DCNM, provides complete lifecycle management and automation for the Nexus and MDS platforms. In this demo, we'll be looking at some of the new features introduced in NDFC that includes the enhanced UI, unified feature management for LAN and SAN, some of the new modes introduced, and the security improvements. So let's get started. A lot has changed and a lot has been introduced in NDFC 12.x. In this video, we will be looking at the enhanced UI and feature management uh, that can be done at runtime, uh, the fabric discovery mode, security enhancement for Pope users, and enhanced RBAC. So the look and feel has completely changed. We have a brand new look uh, to NDFC. NDFC resides as a service on the Nexus dashboard and is completely React.js based. Uh, the good part now is that the UI itself is consistent across all the applications residing on Nexus dashboard that of course includes NDFC. There's a brand new UX as we look at one of these pictures, we have a fabric overview and a lot can really be done with respect to not only the deployment, but also the monitoring aspects of it. We have a customizable dashboard and everything is really lined up here from the topology to a fabric view, settings and operation. When we look at the topology itself, we now have an operation tab which shows the operational status in terms of the health of the switches itself and the config tab which shows the config status whether the devices themselves uh, are in sync or out of sync. We have an enhanced topology view that now also includes the protocol state and in, even in terms of operations, for example, deploying something is really easy. Right clicking on any switch would give us a whole bunch of operations and options to execute or to switch as well as a fabric level. Now, In terms of feature management, NDFC 12 implements all of the LAN, SAN and IPFM features in one single installation mode. So the user really doesn't have to select which mode they want to operate on and then deploy. It's vice versa where we are deploying an ND cluster and we are selecting the feature set at runtime. So for example, we have the fabric discovery, we are looking at fabric controller and the sand controller mode. If I select fabric controller, all the respective feature sets would be populated where I can enable any of these features or really disable them if I don't need them. We have introduced the NDFC fabric discovery mode. In DCNM 11.x, uh, we use the external and LAN classic template to basically achieve monitoring capabilities for the switches. Uh, which meant that we were never deploying anything to the switches, but we used it in terms of monitoring and visibility for these switches and fabric. We have introduced a lightweight version of the very same in NDFC 12.x and we now have a new mode which is basically called the fabric discovery mode. In this mode, we will be using the LAN monitor template, which is a read-only template. Once I have a fabric that's created with this template and I discover switches, I'm able to look at a lot of options including the switches, the links, the interfaces, the inventory, topology, licenses, etc. Here we have a similar topology view. Of course, operation is more relevant to this mode versus the config uh, tab here. And we are also able to see all the alarms that are detected and the user can be alerted on all the events that are happening at a switch and a fabric level. And we also have license management in the fabric discovery mode. So there's a lot of benefits to using discovery mode 
if the user is not really ready to start using the controller mode, they can very much get started with fabric discovery mode, play with the feature sets and they can always move from the fabric discovery to the fabric controller mode. We also have secure enhancement for Pope users. In DCNM 11.x, the switch downloads the Pope script from DCNM via TFTP and that script basically contains the SCP credentials for downloading additional files from DCNM. This can pose a security problem where anyone can basically download the final config for another switch. In NDFC, we now have a public key that is generated on the switch and this key is uploaded along with the other device information. Uh, we will be using this key for key-based SSH and this is basically going to be used by the switch to download the image, the startup config, etc. So this is a lot more secure compared to what we had in DCNM. RBAC has changed. Now NDFC as it resides on ND, the parent control for our RBAC resides on the Nexus dashboard itself. We have uh, a bunch of roles. Uh, in DCNM we had five roles. Uh, but the problem is when a user, say user X was a stager for a single fabric, that meant that they would be stager for all the other fabrics. So it wasn't very granular. But in NDFC, what we have is a user X can be a stager for fabric A, but can be an admin or an operator for fabric B. So it's a lot more granular compared to DCNM. We have five roles that are supported in NDFC, and we also have some roles that are supported from DCNM for backward compatibility. That was it for this demo. Thank you very much for watching.